So I picked Sado Mirrorless for my final presentation because I really was moved by how simple but complex his art projects were and how much meaning and and how much of a message he has throughout all of his work. So it is Sado Mirrorless. He was born February 9th, 1948. He's actually still alive to this day and is at the age of 72. He was born and started creating art at a very young age in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He's actually considered as a conceptual and instructional artist along with a sculpture. He first began to study art in 1963 at the District Federal Constitutional Foundation in Brasilia, and with that, he took he was took under Felix Bernetta's wing, who is a very prestigious drawer and chromatic maker. He, with working with Felix, he got connected with this neo concrete movement in Brazil and started working with them to improve in more structures and installation movements. In 1967, he studied, or he moved to Rio de Janeiro and studied in Isla Nicola de Bela Arches, which is a more pristine art school. Some interesting information I found was that he started with a drawing as his main medium, but then once he got connected with the neo concrete movement, he started to get into more of the actual huge sculptures and concept ideas of being an artist. And with being a concept artist, it is more of the idea of what the problem is, which uh, Mielos actually focuses on time of more culture and time and space with all of his art projects. So you'll see multiple vast areas with little things because of him. And he was one of the very first concept artists along with being a founder of the experimental unit of the Museum of Art Media in 1969 and in 1975. He also got to travel a lot as a young boy because his dad was a medical person and being able to see all different social and political conditions during the dictatorship that Brazil was in during his early lifetime till his early 20s he got to see lots of it so that gave him some ideas on what he wanted to create so starting with his insertions in logical circuits we have the coca cola project with the coca cola project he mainly focused on how there are a lot of notions of civility of goods and exchange routes, so saying that we have one of the one good and then it goes in a circle round and around and he just wanted to see if like some of his bottles would like go around the world and this was making a political statement of how um how huge importing foreign items into Brazil has become along with a global liftoff of capitalism, consumerism, which means that it is open for everyone, unlike a very strong dictatorship of what you can and cannot have. He wrote, on these bottles he has wrote very political statements along with sometimes how to make one of them into a cocktail drink which I find is really interesting on how he did that and why he did it and since the bottles were clear he used transparent white paint to paint on them so once they were refilled you could see it but not when they are empty. 
the next one I have is the Redshift. It is a huge room that has three phases. The first phase is just a huge modern house that you would just walk into assuming that someone just emphasizes and loves the color red. And then there is the next part, which the title is in Portuguese, which I don't know how to pronounce, so I'm not going to butcher it and save you all the worry and time. But the word has a double meaning of spill and environment, which in this area, there's only one bottle and it has spilling of some kind of red content onto everything, which historians have looked into and I thought that the title has given a hint of Marcel showing off that how much blood has been spilled throughout the dictatorship in Brazil and wanted to point that out to not only the people in Brazil but everyone else on onlooking. And there's a third part and this guy named Guy Brett had suggested was an unresolved question because it is a huge vast space compared to the first two areas and it is so open and has so many scientific discoveries and wonders about time that you start to think a lot about it. The next one is through which has about six different sides or boundaries to this area with a large thing in it and he was trying to show that there are many difficulties of seeing one item, and but he wants to know that you can weave through that and see it and try and fix the problem. Because like with all the poverty that he saw, that he really wanted to point out that not everything is as good as it may seem. The next one is Babel. Babel is a vast tower made out of all different types of radios and they are all tuned to different channels which is really interesting I found because the reason why he titled this as Babel is the is connected to the biblical tower of Babel which God had summoned multiple guys that spoke different tongues built this huge tall tower that almost reached the heavens to make something so amazing and vast and having Marcel just bring in that idea and having different tongues talk while you're just looking at this it's actually a very beautiful and clean structure that he has made and one of his main points that he's giving is no matter what your age is what color language spoken or ancestry, we can all make the world work together like how the men in the biblical story have made the tower and how this tower is made full of different languages. The next one is the zero dollar. It is another project like the Coca-Cola bottles that really try to analyze the value of the idea of value and he really brought in the idea of the real symbolic and the value exchange of value and what that really means so he has turned money into nothing he basically says and re replaces all of the isolated and the prestigious people that are usually on the money into something that is very animated and thought processed and he first stated that using the dollar in my work I specifically hoped to escape from the stereotypical association of Brazilian money with inflation which I got to like showing how money does show in a value of the country but it also shows that there is different areas like countries in the world that use the list symbol for something very expensive but it isn't very expensive in other worlds so like 
hijacking it all. The next one I chose was the Sonian Sea, which is just an area to like have peace and calming and there's sounds of seagulls and the ocean and it's very calming says all the artists and critics that have been to the site and even in this picture it looks really calming and poetic and stuff and Mosaic just wanted to really bring in how we can get washed away with all the busyness in the world with the sounds and we just have to find ourselves and all this chaos. Next one is The Meshes of Freedom. This was originally based on a work that he drew himself with the idea of fishermen and just tailing and making his nets for his fish. There are three sections that this this project is made out of. One is being cotton thread, the other is being paper, and the third is made up of metal. And with these all woven together, it is shown that it can be made as a big social togetherness. And it doesn't matter what type there was or how long it was, it all connected to one social thing. So in our exhibits that this was in, there would be little packets of green, orange, and red um, materials that you would have to find and try and connect your own social togetherness. And I thought that was really interesting of him. The next one he created was a globe trotter. It's kind of a globe trotter, but not really, because he uses all these different spears and on top of a mesh that is tries to involve a range of the spears that are just textures to find a find a different look of it all and like it's all different and but it all looks so pretty at the same time so it like shows that not only we all can be different but we're all beautiful in our own thing and one one quote that Marlise says is, I began to think about those fears. Imagine something that would rather be the idea of, idea of conquering the world to use in the collection of elementary forms and something that would somehow contain them. Brave New Worlds roots itself in the themes of colonism and civilization. And I thought that was a really nice quote to and this image on. The next one that he, that I pointed out was really interesting was the missions and missions. It has a Hispanic or name to it, but I'm not going to hurt you with it. And in parentheses, it usually has how to build a cathedral because this structure is based on those that are colonizing in Brazil at the so they wanted to convert those Indonesian people into Christianity what I found was interesting was this looks more of a mathematical equation rather than a simple pristine by step by step guide kind of like a building builder's guide to building a house. This is more of a mathematical equation. And I found out that the top actually is composed of twenty thousand bones and the bottom is com is composed of six hundred thousand coins. So it's kind of like showing how like those that had to convert had to break the space in between them and the wealthy just to make the wealthy happy and I just found that was a strong statement. The last one that I chose was Fonches which is a structure that consists of 600 rulers, a thousand clocks, and 500,000 vinyl numbers. Both of these 
or